So, if you're trying to find bed bugs, you want to know if they're in your chair. You just got a chair. Um, I'm going to go over in this video chairs, love seats, sofas, places that bed bugs like to hide. So, hopefully, you guys can find them. Stay tuned. All right, so here's a chair. It's an older chair, it's a newer, older chair. <laughs> But if you pull the cushion off, if you can, some, some couches don't have a removable cushion. But if you get down in here, there's a crack right along here. You want to mush it down and try to look in this crack. Spread it apart really well. Just like this. See, that might actually make me think it might be a bed bug right there, but it's not. It's just a piece of felt. But you go all the way around. And sometimes you really have to get in these little creases like this to see if you can find it. Now, I've turned the chair upside down. Here's a leg. You typically want to take the legs out if you can. They usually just spin to remove can't get these out there in really tight um but you want to spin these and look underneath them sometimes you can find bed bugs under the legs see these staples right here sometimes you can peel this little piece of felt back and check in there all along the whole thing so all around the whole edge and right here now this chair was shipped so it had the legs in this little pouch Sometimes you can find them living inside these little pouches. So you can open those up and you can check in there. All right, so now that you've seen how to check for bed bugs in a chair, now we're gonna look at a recliner or a sofa type situation. All right, so now we've got a sofa here. It's got, it's an electrical sofa, so it actually goes up and down like a recliner. So you can open it up. This is what you should do if you're gonna check your chairs. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna go in here and you wanna spread these open. Go all in that crease. Same with the upper pillow. You wanna spread it open. Look really good down in there to make sure there aren't any bed bugs in there. There's another place they like to hide. So if you come along this top pillow and you peel it all the way back, let me turn the light on for you. All right, so you peel it all the way back and you can look down in those grooves. A lot of times they'll hide down in there. You see that the chair is actually screwed together, like right down in here. You can find them down in there. This, if you're sitting in your chair and you're getting bit on your elbows, a lot of times they'll hide in places like this. Like right in these creases, these seams and stuff are good places for bed bugs to hide. And you can look in the arms. And another thing about this specific sofa is it has an armrest that raises up. And sometimes you can find them living in around these little creases here, inside the hinges and everything. So all of this stuff you wanna Really open it up really good. Check all the pillows. Check all of the, you know, everything as far as the grooves, the, the seams, everything where it's all put together. Those are the places that bed bugs are gonna hide on a recliner sofa. All right, so now we have a normal sofa. Now, what I mean normal, what I mean is that these cushions actually come out. And there's something in there. <laughs> All right, so you pull the cushions out of your sofa. And you get the daughter's Batgirl costume out of the sofa. And then what you do is you step like that. You wanna step down. And the reason you wanna step down or push really good and firm, it's like I showed you on the chair earlier. Somebody's been eating stuff on this couch that they're not supposed to be eating on this couch. But when you mush down like this, it allows you to check inside 
the creases like this. A lot of times you'll find bed bugs just they look just like that, but it's not. It looks like sesame seeds because my daughter must have ate a bagel on the couch. But you get down in these grooves like this, and that's where you want to check on a sofa. Now, these pillows back here actually come off. So you could take these off the couch and you can look in around the arms down in here. I have actually found clusters of bed bugs in these areas like this. See the cushion and stuff? They can get up into the back of the sofa there. So they'll definitely be in these little creases like this all along the armrest, all along the back of the couch, in these little spots here where the seams go together, even though it doesn't seem like a very good place to hide, they will cluster in those spots. So, and like I was showing you before on the chair, basically it's the same thing with the couch. You wanna flip the couch upside down and you wanna unscrew the legs, check around all the legs, check around all the staples to make sure that your couch isn't infested. And just because you don't find them on one arm doesn't mean they're not on the other. So always pull your sofas back and check every spot around all the arms of your couch, around where you put your butt down in here, and that's where you want to check on a sofa for bed bugs. So remember, if this video has been helpful to you, leave me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like other videos like this. And understand that I've been doing premieres on my channel. Now, this video here is so short, I'm not going to worry about premiering it. It's just going to be a quick tip for bed bug control. But uh, any video that typically is over 10 minutes, I try to do a premiere. Uh, premieres don't run any advertisements, so you don't have to worry about any ads or anything like that on the video. Just be there when the video goes live, and I will be there when the video goes live. And it works kind of like a live stream where I can answer your questions. Uh, so far, every premiere I've done has worked really well. You guys have been great. Everybody's been showing up to the chat room, asking me all kinds of questions. I feel like it's a really good way to kind of connect with you, my audience, and help you guys in the best way that I know how. So hopefully, this will help you, and you'll be able to find those bed bugs and kill those bed bugs. I will see you later. Oh, and also down in the links below, I leave it in the description typically, but I think I'm going to leave it in a pinned comment too. Um, I have all the chemicals that I use to kill bed bugs are listed on my Amazon page. So you can go there and check and see. You don't have to buy there. It is an affiliate link. So I do get paid, you know, a little bit of something if it's sold like a commission or whatever. Um, if you don't like that idea, then you can also find other prices elsewhere. The reason I use Amazon is because that's how I got my business started, was Amazon. I've been doing uh, pest control for 30 years, and when I started my own company four years ago, I bought a lot of what I needed on Amazon because you don't have to buy these large amounts. Like If I go through my suppliers now, I have to buy bulk supply and I don't really need bulk supply when you first get started. And you guys that are watching my channel, you guys don't really need bulk supply either. You're a do-it-yourself or you're living at home and you're trying to get rid of your bed bugs. So that's why I've linked it. Uh, hopefully you guys can get the help you need. And if not, don't forget to leave a comment below and I'm welcome to, uh, to get to you. Also, if you can't reach and uh, if you can't make it to my premieres, don't forget to leave a comment below. I'll answer it there. I read every single comment that I get on all of my videos. I really appreciate you guys and have a really great day and I will see you later. Thanks.